As we've already seen, we can access information about specific genes by searching using amino acid or nucleotide sequence information with the tool BLAST. What if we only had the name of a gene or its official symbol or a description of the gene in text only, say from a newspaper article, such as the Seattle Times article on the Von Hippel Lindau syndrome and its association with uh, the Hatfield and McCoy stories mentioned in the Seattle Times article above earlier in the PowerPoint presentation. We could do a text-centric search directly from the Entree database, which is the All Databases link from the NCBI homepage. We have sources of information, everything from the literature information on PubMed to information about the role of the von Hippel Lindau gene or VHL gene in human disease, which would be found in the online Mendelian Inheritance in Man or OMEN database. We also note that the gene icon is associated with the uh, VHL gene summary page on Entree. Let's go ahead and just click on that. That takes us to a list of candidates, top among them the uh, gene for mouse, the homolog for VHL in mouse. Since we didn't specify species and limits are a topic uh, that we will explore later on in other classes as we learn how to use these tools at uh, higher levels of detail. As we scroll down the list, what we will see is the record for the VHL gene, which we already know is the von Hippel Lindau associated uh, syndrome associated gene. We can click on VHL and that will take us to the Entree gene summary page. And again, not to um, overdo it, the Entree gene summary page for a gene is a gold mine of information about a specific gene in whatever organism, human, mouse, or whatever, uh, and bacterial genes as well. And everything generally that you would want to find out about a gene, ranging from its official name to a summary of what the gene product does in the organism, to information about chromosome location and orientation, PubMed articles, interactions of the gene product with other proteins and molecules in the cell, um, the keg pathways, the map viewer, the ontologies telling us basically what the protein product does and what information there is to back up those assertions, unigene, everything is associated or linked with the Entree Gene Summary page. So you can find out virtually anything that you would like to know about that gene product. You'll notice that the Entree Gene page is, again, as we pointed out under the BLAST um, part of the class, or part of the PowerPoint presentation, is heavily uh, connected to all of the other databases. And we can get to, for instance, the online Mendelian Inheritance in Man entry for VHL by clicking on Omen, which is listed on the right hand side and also at the bottom of the uh, Entree Gene Summary page. We can see that the VHL gene with its associated Omen number, every gene in Omen has a number associated with it. We can click on that and that would take us to the summary page. You'll notice also in the listings very quickly we can see the um, gene symbol names. That's how we identify this particular list item. And also the gene map locus. We know from previous uh, experience with the map viewer that was produced or linked to during our BLAST work earlier that the VHL gene is located on chromosome 3 at the location 3P26, P25, 
on that chromosome. And if we click on the omen number, that takes us to a summary page containing all of the known information about genetic conditions associated with VHL, ranging from its role as a tumor suppressor when there are mutants in the VHL gene, it loses its ability to suppress tumors, and is very much involved in a number of different types of tumors, kidney tumors in particular. It's also involved in the um, uh, disorder associated with the Hatfield and McCoy feud, in which individuals have an uncontrollable experience of rage that often leads to violence that's described in the Seattle Times article earlier in the presentation. And so the omen entry contains all kinds of very uh, medically interesting information about the gene. And omen is very useful in another way in that you can think of it as the phenotypic companion for the human genome. It describes what the genes do that manifest themselves in uh, what we see in the organism being studied. And so the VHL gene entry in OMEN might be described as the phenotype uh, associated in humans for the VHL gene. You now if we go all the way back to the entree summary page, And then further back to the actually uh, to the actual entree page itself, where we had our original search results, we'll see there are all sorts of data points. Everything from protein sequence information uh, to the core nucleotide sequences. These would be the GenBank entries associated with this particular gene. Um, books. A number of publishers have uh, allowed NCBI to publish. They're full texts uh, online for anyone to view for free. We also see that there are a number of other types of potentially useful sites. Homologene is a site that is of interest in that if you go there, which we will now, uh, it will give us a list of potential um, homologs in other organisms, uh, everything from dogs to mouse to chicken. And so that's a great site for finding potential model systems for the functionality of the VHL gene, other organisms in which we can study that functionality. Um, again, there's a tremendous amount of data here. And what is available is dependent largely upon your needs and what you're interested in.